babe nakwambia hii time ya covid Kumbia watu wanapumia eh, watu wako na stress watu wame lose job watoto wako nyumbani wajenda shule watu wako na kama inatafuta junior na, na ladasha ni wapatieni for 6 months bibi yako ni ujinga lakini wachana la sasa upeane watoto jua una do siwashikiliwe 6 months alafu warudi but at least babe tuko poa tuna we are making ends meet sasa wale watu wenye wanalala nje utasema nini kama unasema hivyo watu wamefungiwa nyumba utasema nini kama unasema hivyo kweli Alafu unajua watu wana break up sana because of mambo ya mambo ya kukosa do. Watu wana break up kabisa. But they unajua break up zina come because of pressure. Hizo vitu zote tunasema but hizi zinaitwa pressure. But babe can you miss understand? Okay. Okay maybe neza hebu ni make understand. Bona mtu wa bwana watu wa chanesa zile hakuna do. Pressure ni pressure unajua pia inadepende. Unajua tena kuambia kuna couples zinapitia through so many things. So unakuta wewe unaona maybe mzee a provide na mimi naona pia na maana kichwa tushazoeana so pressure inatoka from all angles so watu hivyo hivyo wanaambiana acha tu tupeane break kwanza lakini nakwambia ma, watu manyumba zimefungwa watu wanakosa food yani Shabia. marriages marriages wako na, watu wako na pressure mingi i think lakini unajua si hatujafika mahapo so hatuizi understand kwa nini watu wanaachana in that process watu wengi pia si tuko na pressure zetu But baby but tafika mali tunakosa food maybe ukinikikosa food sijui kama inaweza pia mimi nikwambie nimeenda zangu sasa unaona eh sasa inakwanga hivyo because hata mimi naona kwanza kule food naniambia kwanza ni but it's hard mimi na imagine wambo tunaweza fanyaje kama tuna renta tuna food aya kuna wamefika wageni wetu wamefika eh wacha nikamlie na leo umeenda at least hujanituma bibi yako ameniacha nisha hivyo karibu hapa ndio tunaingia have a seat hey. karibu unaweza kitu mimi nakwambia hata hata jumla nasema naona watu watu wana wana nini sasa karibu sana eh because you don't kwani kusombea huku sawa hapo hebu ona morino uja kwangu kuna unajua morino unishuka nywele sasa hebu ona venye ame misbehave hebu ona venye nywele yangu inakaa hivyo ndio alikutoka sijamtoka ni ni mama uli nyasha na usizi uko na makazi na kupigia tu uko busy uko busy yani muko mabivu muko mafutani kwaje uko sana how's everything uko sawa kabisa uko sawa mtango wa kujui by the way babe this is more real meet mara moja lakini tukuongea eh mkini amkuongea ile siku uko na ile siku ile siku uko unashika simu zangu kwa nyumba Yeah, yeah. 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 Unajua kumbe uja kwa kuniambia unajua ni Faith amekuwa kuniambia Faith alikuwa Faith ameniambia what these people went through as a couple babe mm. yeye na hazi yake nyaga mm. unajua huyo aniambia ngi kitu imagine zote time zote unishuka aje niambia sasa so at least wewe unajua mimi sijui anything sasa nataka nyaga yes utaambia more story from your from a man's point of view sindio ndamchapia story tukienda kutengeneza anga huyu makeup kidogo na uko sopa i love stories niko niko nashoro ni nashoro you are so nashoro you are person you are very fast aenda kutengeneza nywele tafadhali eh na tengeneza nywele yangu to fix eh unaona leo nimefanya episode lakini niko na haja complain yeah nilikuwa nime complain hizi matuta tatu unajua ni tumeanza ku shoot akaniambia babe ai una shoot hivyo sasa una matuta tatu kubwa tulikuwa 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 na shida ya nguo juzi Muliona story ya nguo. Muliona shida sana. Muliona ile shida sasa ona matuta tatu. Any story for another day. Story for another day. Babe nimekwambia wewe nampigia gazi mwana niambia patikani. Ah ile oh so yeye ndio makosa. Ah babe naka vizuri. Kwani you don't love me just the way I am. Okay wacha na nani tutaenda ngea kipa kwa makeup. Alafu ni make nywele. Alafu as we do that so we don't waste time. Ni tutaenda kwa mtu zaka hapa tafikiria tutaenda kwa mtu. Because you know a bit of the story so you can be telling more and then now we can go hang out, sindio? Sawa. Tujibambe. I see you.
it's very green. A beautiful Nairobi Kopale. And by the way, on this side, it's clear Mount Kenya, you know, very clear on that side, yes. It is clear to you on Nini, you know, Mount Kenya, you know, a Vizuri Sana. Eh, you know, the scenery? Yes. Ah, shika, shika, shika. Oh, that's a jacuzzi! Yeah? You're going to get me? You're going to get me. You're going to get me. We have a very beautiful country. Very good one. Some people are in Yaribu. We have a very, very beautiful, beautiful country. Yeah. Uh. Lakini. Uh-huh. Bila do. Ni mekoni kisikia mama kita jatua za story. And I'm glad we'll come. Yeah, thanks. Eh, but kama kuna toko na story, uh. I think nwe. Ata, in a nutshell, tu ni kui pick tu juju. <laughs> I just say my daughter. So ni kasema, hey, we'd like to hear your story. Moni kona story kubwa. Lakini tu kwa lata yu mob sana, eh. Leo ni sezi kuambia story hapa tukunywa juu. Leo tunakula na yeye dinner. Hapa nitaimitiwa juu. Eh. Okay. So tutakunywa juu. Then juu tunakula na yeye hapa na kuchapia story yote. Binya kulienda. What you gone through? Through. Story yako nilisikia kutoka kwa Faye. Imagine bonu je niambie hizo stories zenye umepitia. Atujai atujai kuwa ti tume relax tunaongea tunakwanga tu harakati za nywele za kuni make ni kaeboa nini like but i i you know your fear when fear fear ni tacha kaniambia penye wewe na hazi yako mligo through ma a lot. Na ulipasa viaje? Kwanza financially hizo stories zote ulipasa viaje? Naelewa sisi hatujai fika kwa age sana na Linet but saa zingine tuna pressure tu kidogo na nafika home nime jam. Things are not working. Kuna vitu ngata kukimshia nazo haziwak. Eh. Nikifika home pia saa zingine zake zimelipuka. Eh. So I can understand when man amefika hapo saa umefika mwisho mpaka nyumba inafungwa. Inafungwa na una anything. Then the problem ni ati ukienda kwa hiyo nyumba you will start overthinking kiona mara tu hata labda akili zake hazikuwa hivyo ako nafikiria venyewe labda amekwambia kitu kitu kidogo tu then you start overthinking unaona huyu madam ameanza kunidharau juu sina dou when morin told me the story about her and her husband what mimi kwanza nilikuwa shocked number one, alipasa viaje yes. number two, mm mi yenyewe na respect watu wako kwa marriage by the way eh unajua the single person in the room what you are the single person in the room ta be the god ni progress unajua many by the many women don't don't persevere mahazi wa kosa do wewe ulipersevere aje na naweza sema tu ni ni god as in tena ile bond tulikuwa nayo ju alikuwa tu first love wangu Oh, mlikutanaje? Tulikutana nikiwa high school. Are you serious? Nilikuwa oh. nilikuwa form 3. Eh, tulipatana tu kwa mat. Ukiwa form 3 ukiwa kwa mat. Eh. Na mkona F up to today. Eh. So me mjua how many years? 7, 8, 8 years. 8. Eh, juu sasa ligojea dini malize shule. Mhm. Na sasa tukaanza ku date. Unajua unasemanga kama una kitu ya man mpaka mboa yako igurisi. <laughs> Eh, it's so I you know uh, pressure on uh, I don't know how to handle this I don't know I need, as I said I need to learn something from from what you've gone through but I understand as men I think first of all we need to really open up yeah true uh, and especially we need to say situation yangu iko hivi na hivi na hivi even to our friends to those we call our real friends mm. to ni uh, venye tumeko kwa society as men tuna feel mimi ndio na provide so sasa hiyo line imekatwa hivi i'm not worth unajua mwanaume the worst thing ni kufeel hiyo self esteem imeshuka imeshuka mimi nataka tu kuuliza at one time uko una feel venye ali lose do uko una feel nikauta muacha eh kuna time nilikuwa nasikia eh a a na nikimshikilia tu alafu siku atapata doa nitoke unaona kuna kale ka feeling unasikia unaweza mshikilia sana tena akipata akipata doa apate maslee queen 
na uliongoka kama hiyo feeling cause every woman has that feeling cause hata mimi nikipatana na mwa hako anga hako au mo ule yuko saa hii sasa una wewe uliovaka maji hiyo feeling yake i guess vile vitu zili happen ni god tu mungu wako anataka tu tuachane that thing has happened to my mingi nimesha i experience that thing as a man you lost everything au na do uko too lonely don't have anybody to speak up to and the, and everybody is looking up to you that's the time you feel the world is coming to an end but as you know mwanaume wanga ongei then unaona pia vile ana work hard unaona yeye huyu hata ukimwacha alafu atabaki na nani unaona but na hizo thoughts hauko unakatiwa na tuchali unajua sasa wengine kasponyeka naweza kuja kasponyeka hiyo time ndio unapatanga mtu wako na kigari mapesa unaona ama tu ni over kamaje hiyo part kuomba unaona ile time juu tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye tunaomba sana at least Mungu anakurudisha e side so maombi ilikusaidia eh, kuovaka na mabeshe wako anakuambia we naona huku chali wako mwenye ananga kitu haya di familia wanakuonyesha ai familia acha tu pia alikuwa anakuambia ni aje uka kamtuka kwa kwa tulikuwa tunaachana tulikuwa tunakosana alafu unajua time yenye kuna mashida devo anawafuatanga na mashida kwanza hiyo part ni handle ndio anakuonyesha achana na yeye akikukosea kidogo una natoroka kidogo unasikia una toroka kidogo naenda kwa sister yangu ananikujia sijui moka usha experience kitu moja kishaanza kuharibika kazi kazi zinafuatanaanga zote zinafuatana ni kama zinaenda zote kuisha hiyo ndio life alikuwa anatoka na baga naenda retreat one week anamwambia holiday ya, ya kuomba ya kuomba so anaenda kuomba sizo mimi nimekathirika na shindwa hii maisha tutaishi hivi na toroka naenda kwa sister yangu anaambia so, wewe na kurudisha na maombi anaenda na kurudisha na maombi e, wiki moja ikiisha mm-hmm. hata sijui tunajipata tu tuko tu pamoja so prayer has been your prayer role, sana eh okay? imekuwa eh, roho unasikia wewe mada I can't wait to hear this story bro because I know I understand you as a man I know and tukikula uh, dinner we open up you know we talk and to Saidiane I understand I can relate in some point Bebu unajua mimi najua story yao by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nyaga na Morin wende ujui. Okay, mimi najua but sijui kama mimi najua in details. Abu Nyaga muambie. Ambie ni. Mo. Mo, hmm? si tumetoka fa. Mimi na wifu yangu. Maisha yametugonga. Kuna time nilikuwa na job poa. Then ka lose job. Hapo ndio shida zetu zilianzia. Mlikuwa mmekaa pamoja for how long? Tulifanya hivi. Ah uh, mimi vile nilimaliza high school mhm ndio tulianza ku date immediately eh uh, mhm ndio tulijuana nikiwa high school mm-hmm. so alafu wazazi wangu hawako na doa ya kunipeleka college mm-hmm. so wakaniambia ni step out sister yangu mdogo endelee na shule mm-hmm. mimi nikae ni tutajua tu ni nini mm-hmm. na so many families by the way kuna hiyo kitu inakuanga sana eh mm-hmm. ukifisha maza form four utapanga acha ule mdogo acha ule mdogo sasa sasa mi sasa nilikuwa nimechanganyikiwa nitaanza wapi jungu anajua nitamaliza kama nimeingia shu shule mm-hmm. sasa habi akaniambia si acha juni nimepata ka job mm-hmm. si nikulipie ICDL uanze kusoma u refresh mind ndio ukimaliza uanze course yenyu unataka kusoma mimi nitakusomesha ICDL, ICDL ni computer detailed computer oh. sasa nikaingia shule akanilipia nikimaliza ndio sasa ali lose job immediately when you limaliza mm. na sababu nilikuwa mshaanza kuishi pamoja mshaanza kuishi pamoja, mshanza mshanza pamoja. Mm. alafu nilikuwa nimepata job poa mm. so hiyo job poa ilikuwa as in nilikuwa job yenye nilikuwa nalipo poa jo alikuwa na tip 20000 per week wewe eh. eh. ha ulikuwa una tip wife 20000 per week eh nilikuwa na job poa alafu nikafika mali hakuna kitu hakuna kitu wow to an extent na sasa hizo vile sasa ali lose job hiyo siku ndo niliconfirm niko na ball ali lose job na hiyo ndo siku ile confirm uko na ball mm. sa next step ilikuwa kuanza ku hustle alafu unajua kama sisi wanaume wanga to speak up tunangana na mzigo so alafu things started falling apart 
What? So after tume blemiana tuna fight sana kwa nyumba hakuna mani, kuna mtu anataka kuongelesha mwingine au melala ile kona melala iko mwingine hadi nilikuwa tu ni kama tu tuko pamoja lakini ushai miss mtu mko naye unasikia hata uwezi mguza hivi juu ukimguza unaweza sikia amekuwekelea kofi juu haujui haujui ako aje juu reaction yake nyewe haujui kabisa so unaona so, room pay space mm. Actually ni alienda retreat ya prayers. Alienda prayers. Eh, mm-hmm. akaniacha kwa nyumba for one week. Then after amerudi, ako na furaha kabisa. Hadi anaongelelea story za mtoto. Atika alikuwa kananyonya hivi. Nashindwa. Eh? Ni wewe unaongea? Ati unakumbuka alikuwa kanakaa hivi sijui aje. Nashindwa ai ni anaongea sikuwa naamini asha hila kwa poa sasa ndo akaniambia the next retreat unafa uende retreat ya prayer eh mm. ndo sasa nikaenda prayers na kuambia linet vile niliingia kwa hiyo room kwa hiyo gate ya prayer house nilianza tu kudia kuna vile mnaingianga mna register mnalipa hata sikufika nilisimama tu hapo nikalia nikaambia Mungu mimi stoki huku kama hujanirudishia mtoto wangu nililia nikamwambia god mimi hata kama unataka nikae huku forever nitaka bora tu unirudishie mtoto wangu na sitaki kaboi sitaki nini nataka msichana wangu mwenye ulinichukulia juu bible inasema vizuri you restore you restore you give back nipe mtoto wangu na stoki huku sasa hivyo ndo nilikaanza prayers nikaanza prayers then tell me testimony priest akasema kuna msichana alikuja huku with a prayer Mungu anataka Mungu amrudishie mtoto wake. Tinaona katoto kamekuwa mbele yako. Nikaruka juu. Nikai claim nikasema ni mimi, ni mimi, ni mtoto wangu na nimerudishiwa. Sasa hapo ndo watu wakajua ni nini ilikuwa imenileta. So nilisikia tu sense ya flowers, smell ya flowers. Na ni place hakuna flowers kabisa. Nasikia tu smell ya flowers inapita. Nikaambia Mungu, mtoto wangu anaitwa Jasmine. Si unajua ka flower kanaitwa Jasmine? Anaitwa Jasmine. Sijui atakuja lini, lakini mtoto mwenye unanipea anaitwa Jasmine na ni msichana. 
na mtoto wangu anaitwa Jasmine leo. Wow. So hebu niambie upate niko na lipo 18k alafu unatumia una, una 10k alafu una save 8. So wenye nili after your story yote mtoto kuluzi katafuta job nyingine. Mm. So your job ilikuwa kwa driver. Mm. Although una feel too kutoka job ya job mpaka kwa driver. Mm. Lakini kasoma tu sana nikafanya. So nilikuwa na dream ya kuanzisha hardware. So nilikuwa nalipoa 18k per month. So nilikuwa naambia wife babe it tunaeka 10k in 10k in your bills then 8k niko na dream ya kufungua hardware. So ulikuwa mnaishi na 10,000? Ehe. Alafu 8k ni ya hardware. Na sasa hii ndio ime grow ime grow ndio mnakulia hata sasa hii na mkopoa. Na busy kopoa. So guys have hardware. Tuko na hardware. Iko iko itaidie ni download ya hardware pale karibu thika karibu thika nitoje lojo hardware lojo 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 hardware oh what a success story yani guy you story ni you know let me tell you something there's one one person pia anataka ku 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 big up it's her you see not too many women would stand with their husband especially in that moment eh hana kitu ame lose job eh ame lose mtu Imagine to slay queen twingi tungekuwa tuliishia by the way something to learn from me yes you never huku kimbi huku huku mtoroka you know how, how bro uliangukia wife na pia mimi kenye naweza sema for him um what i can big you up you know most men wanakuanga na madem when they are low then when they get money they start mistreating their wives or getting other women outside Thank you for staying faithful to the woman who stayed faithful to you when you were low. Hata sisi unajua we might not necessarily but uh, have gone through your uh, kenya wamesema eh but hiyo story ya mtu hii unajua pia si tushakuwa hapo. We know what it can. Na ukisikia watu wamelose mtu hii na wako pamoja. It has taken go. Yes, it has taken go hands. But sometimes pressure imetufikisha kando. Tunapigananga na huyu jua vitu zingine so I can understand what you mean by kupitia hizo vitu zote. So thank you for standing with me. Ebebe na yeye bwa yuko na ngo na ngo kwangi romantic e bora na good. Wa. Unaona the power of prayer. Bebe na kuambia anga the power of prayer. But hata sisi zimetotoa conversations mingi. Wa. Maombi. The meaning ya kukuwa pamoja mkiwa wawili si kama mtu akiwa peke yake. No maana ni stick. At least tusaidiane na nilikuwa najua Mungu atarestor chenye devo alichukua. Na hapo ndo tulistic pamoja tukafika penye tuko so girls ladies don't leave your men don't Honey thank you very much for standing with me when I had nothing Now that I have I'll remain faithful to you love you and cherish you So guys if you stick together if you pray together you can overcome together as a family <laughs> So guys We are very happy about you guys and what you have done. Nyaga na na Maureen and we feel that you need a special surprise. So, bebo ambe surprise ni nini? So you've encouraged us so much and so many uh, couples at home. Na tunashukuru sana because at least we learn vitu mob, ndio? So thank you so much guys. And uh, courtesy of the Morayas and of course uh, Trademark, Trademark Hotel. Yes, uh, muna farm lale hapa mukae hapa msui mkule dinner mkule kesho lunch and uh, mkue hapa mpaka mjibambe au sio wow yeah. anything is catered for full board <laughs> thank you yeah. everything is catered for yeah um so ni kujibamba hakuna kulipa because you have stuck together yeah. oh, no, 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 so compose <laughs> we love you we love you guys thank you lakini lakini watching the morayas yes ana sisi tutawakalisha sio si tuende tuanzaje 